Watching Daisy Jones and the Six, so obviously I have to listen to Fleetwood Mac. Oh. Daisy Jones and the Six has me in a Fleetwood Mac era. Um, so I'm pretty positive it's about them, isn't it? I don't know. I need to call my dad. He'll know the story. Um, fun fact, I don't actually like love Fleetwood Mac that much. So I feel like I might change the playlist and put on just some oldies. Actually, but honestly, I think I need to give them a chance because I actually really like this song. Uh, guys, I kind of unhinged on my Instagram, I feel like. But I'm also kind of unhinged on here. So So the breeze <laughs> makes me feel fine. Grossa, sponsor me. <laughs> I will provide really unique content for your viewers. Um, now, hi, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness content. Honestly, do I really post that anymore? I don't know. I post a little bit of everything. Um, but we're cooking in the kitchen, you guys. Um, I'm making wings tonight because they're my man's favorite. And honestly, I love a good wing. Who doesn't like wings? But I don't like hot wings, so since we're doing wings for him, um, I was like, well, since they're for us, I really don't want hot wings. Um, I wanted to do garlic parmesan, so that's what we're doing. Um, I've never made garlic parmesan wings before. I've made garlic wings. Garlic parmesan shouldn't be that hard, right? Um, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna do the wings just in some oil, salt, and pepper in the oven. And then I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna toss them in butter, garlic, parmesan, and maybe some like dried parsley. Kinda sounds like it could be the move. But I'm doing the taters right now. Because I'm a living tater, you guys. I am indeed. Like, in all honesty, though, I think I, like, if I was something, I would probably be a potato. I don't know what something is. If I were, uh, if I were a root vegetable, but I also think I'd be a carrot. I don't know. Okay, I have to watch my yoga class while I go. I'm taking this foundations, um, and, or form and flow class. It's just a foundational course for yoga. Hi! Good morning. How's it going? Um... Just got up. I didn't just get up, but I'm a live Lord Awake enthusiastic. Um, did anyone else go to summer camp? Because at summer camp we sing this song. I'm a live Lord. I can't talk. I'm a live Lord Awake, awake enthusiastic. I'm a live Lord Awake. Anyway. Ah. Um, so. I swear, since I've been taking this duo, it's been a game changer. But I'm actually, I've already told you, my king at the Gold Coast Health Foods. He is, he's the man, but now I don't take my probiotic um, in the morning anymore, I take it at night. And in all honesty, I think that's ideal because then you wake up and feel kind of like a skinny ledge, if you know what I mean. You wake up and go to the bathroom, basically. Which is great. We love that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do my prayers, my meditation, all of the things. And then I'll catch you on the flip side. Every time I drink my morning salt water with lemon, I feel like aquamarine. I'm about to have a menti bee. I literally have been trying to upload a reel on Instagram for like three hours. My Instagram's fucked up. So if anyone knows how to figure it out, like, please let me know. And I hate technology when it does this to me. It drives me crazy because like it keeps either uploading like all messed up or taking forever to upload or just like not uploading. And my lips are freaking chapped. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a negative Nelly, but I'm just, and I almost forgot my global entry appointment, but I did it. So we're counting our blessings right now. So, okay. I wanted to come on because I have pants on packages and a Trader Joe's. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, I forgot I bought this. This is a hair removal crystal. 
So you basically just take it and rub it on your legs and it removes hair. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I totally forgot about it. Excited. My camera's gonna die, so I'm just gonna quickly show you. Look how cute these flowers are though, you guys. Beautiful. Mm. See this bad boy. And she says, take a minute. Okay. Oh, my aquaphor stick for my heels. These are the best things ever. So not a very exciting Amazon haul, but two, I guess, beauty related things. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away and turn my camera for a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, now that you've charged up, let's just cook some dinner together, why don't we? Um, so, sorry I was crabby earlier. I am kind of a little bit crabby. Um, but that's okay. We're feeling much better now and I am making, I'll tell you what I'm making. Oh, see it, now I don't know if it goes. I can't decide if I want to do lemon chicken or if I want to do regular chicken with like a lemon. I think I'm going to, because I just feel like I really want to do a salad with toasted cabbage in it because I did that last on Sunday and I haven't stopped thinking about it since. It was like so good and I don't really know why. It was delicious, um, and I want to recreate it. It's with my tahini dressing that I always do, but I don't know if that goes with mom and chicken. Maybe it does. It's fine. Um, so I'm gonna do this salad with just. I'm actually gonna do like kind of a. It's not really super Mediterranean, but kind of like a little bit. And then maybe I'll actually do a Middle Eastern spin on the lemon chicken, so that it's less like yeah okay that's what we're gonna do so with lemon chicken um i just got bone and skin on chicken thighs which i think are the best um and then we're just gonna kind of work work with it i'll probably look up a recipe and not follow it um because that's my favorite thing to do just use it for inspo right um okay so let's chat I feel like sometimes my greatest enemy is myself. Like, do you guys make up problems in your head? Because I literally will like make up problems. And I think like, I hate to be all woo woo, but I think that's why this whole midday meditation thing has been so transformative for me. Because I genuinely like, I will make up all these problems in my head and then I'll go back to my meditation and like remind myself I'm safe, I'm secure. These are non-problems. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm in a better place in a very uncertain place in my life. Maybe than I was when I was in a more certain place. I don't know. I also think like retrospect is so interesting. Like it's always fascinating to look back on something and how you look back on it versus like how you were in it when you were in it. Like obviously like I still look back and I'm like, oh, I loved my job. But like, I think I'm able to look back now and be like, okay, well, it was no longer serving me. Also, if you haven't bought pre-cut parchment paper yet, you need to. I used to love that, um, parchment paper that was reusable and I still have it and I'll use it for cookies and stuff. But I swear to you guys, my food started to taste like it. And I was like, I'm not about this. So I just get the unbleached, like pre-cut stuff. Um, also, I've been thinking about starting an Amazon storefront. Is that like a helpful thing or not? Um, Cause like full transparency, I know people don't make a lot of money from it. So that's why I just like haven't done it, but I would do it if it's like helpful for people. Um, Cause like, it, I think it's just kind of one of those things where like I take a couple hours and do it and then I can just update it every time I like buy something, which like I'm totally cool to do. Um, cause I actually use them sometimes for people that I follow. Like for Emily Kaiser, I use hers cause she buys so much on Amazon. Um, I think she's like one person who does make money on Amazon. Um, but regardless, like 
I still don't care, I'll do it. Um, but let me know if that would be helpful. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna focus on cooking now and I will talk to you guys when I'm making this chicken. This is my lemon chicken after the sear. So I just seared on the stove top, but before the oven. Oh baby, look at those babies. snowing hi guys I feel like this is a really shitty angle yeah I don't think I can talk to you from this angle sadly how about this this is a pretty shitty angle too well anyways I'm back from yoga I'm gonna fold this laundry and I was gonna talk to you guys while I fold it, but I just feel like this is a really shitty angle. Um, and I honestly just want to get this laundry done. Does anyone else who lives with a significant other, does your significant other just leave laundry in their laundry bin and like totally forget about it? Like I'm not really a hamper person, you guys. Like I prefer genuinely to just like do laundry as I go. And I feel like I have enough laundry to do that with. But Blake loves to like have one day where he does laundry. And like he just fills up that hamper and it just drives me insane to be completely honest because then it makes it so much, like I just feel like it piles up so much quicker and then you have to do like a couple loads of laundry and then you start to dread doing laundry because you're folding laundry for like 45 minutes. Whereas like if you just do one medium sized load at a time, you never have that issue. But I guess I am talking to you from this angle even though it sucks, but um, so sorry, but just real, we're trying to multitask up in here. Um, but yoga was really good, I went to a ritual. I've been going to yoga 2.0 lately, I haven't been going to ritual. Um, but Shel or I was gonna go to Zacharias' class at yoga 2.0 tonight, which is like, a 45 minute flow but it was full and I was like you know what I'd rather just get it over with anyways and then I can just like work on like YouTube stuff and TikTok stuff and applications and all of that stuff like a little bit later into the afternoon um because sometimes it's nice just to get it out of the way you know what I mean like I mean I love I actually love a 5.30 workout class or a 5 p.m. Um, but I also love just like chilling and I've been wanting to watch Daisy Jones in the 6. But it's weird. I like do this thing with TV where like I make, I set the intention to do it and then I put it off because I feel like it's not productive. That's like a me problem because I have issues like actually settling down. Um, but tonight I'm making, I'm setting the intention my friend Jess actually just asked me if I wanted to go for a walk and I don't need to go for a walk. I need to chill on my couch and watch Daisy Jones. So I'm gonna politely decline and watch Daisy Jones. And yeah, I'm excited to watch it though because people are like obsessed and they did that capsule wardrobe with free people, which I actually think like for marketing, like Amazon, they're like whoever did that, they're like stylists or whatever, that's brilliant. Like that is such smart marketing. Um, especially because I feel like there are so many shows these days, not so many, but like, do you guys remember Nora from The Watcher? Like obviously it's not as iconic of a show as like Davy Jones because it's not about like a band, I don't know. Um, but like I was obsessed with her outfit. Um, some of you probably remember that because I literally like started dressing like her and never stopped. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so I'm excited for people. Definitely like, isn't really my style. Like there are some pieces that I really like. Um, but I don't know. Some people are like free people, people through and through like my, good friend Hannah she's like a total free people girly like and she rocks it I feel like it's also just like 
not necessarily tall, but like, like, I feel, I feel like there's a type for free people. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's me stereotyping, but I do feel like there's like a type of girl that free people markets towards and it's just like, like model like people i don't know maybe that's gonna get hate but sometimes i feel like and this is nothing that you guys say i think it's just like like the world that we live in I feel like and also i think this is like we talked about this before when i had my lame ass hot takes I get so afraid of offending people like and it's I think it's one of my toxic traits is like deep fear I think it comes from a fear of being a mental let's just really get into like my therapy talk shall we while folding laundry um but I think that we all most of us have a deep fear of abandonment and like that's a lot of work that I do in therapy is like I have a very deep fear of abandonment and a lot of the things that I do that are like quote unquote toxic or just like unproductive behaviors stem from that um and I think that's one of the things is my fear of abandonment will catapult me into literally like not not owning my beliefs or not like just like not owning my full self sometimes because I'm afraid that people are going to abandon me or like reject me or that I'm going to offend someone and they're going to leave. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, we're working on that. Laundry's done. It didn't take that long um, at all. Honestly, I feel like it took less time because I was talking to you guys and yeah, but pause, we'll finish on this talk. Anyways, that's something we're working through is me like majorly tiptoeing around things because I'm afraid that people are going to be offended and leave. <laughs> so all in all, free people's design for models. <laughs> um, no, but like to be completely honest, their marketing is fully towards like very tall, very thin girls. Like I, at least that's my, I'm literally doing it. Okay, bye, this is dumb. So. Okay, Blake has a Facebook marketplace story and he hasn't told me yet. No. But I so. just said I would take out my camera and he could tell the vlog. I'm pretty uh, deep in Facebook Marketplace. And I was messaging a bunch of people about vacuums. Trying to buy a vacuum. Yeah, but not it's not used, guys. It's like in the... No, like new vacuums. Like people around the country, too. Okay. So... You got a broad network. Uh, yeah. So there's... And some people look a little shady. So I'm like, yeah, uh, I'll message them. See what's going on. Like, whatever. Um, Sleuth it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, just feel it out. And message this one guy. I noticed all of his pictures are from Google. You can do a reverse image search and see where the images actually this come from. This is the from. shit Blake does. So I'm like, I like message him. I'm like, hey, can you send me a picture? Send me another fake picture. Um, he was like, this is like what the inside of the box looks like. And for reference, like he's selling like a brand new vacuum for a lot less than it retails and a lot less than other people. Okay, so like tell us, what's the price? So, what, the price? He, yeah, what's he selling it for? What does it retail for? So like the retail is $700, um, and he's selling it for you know, just under 400. Okay. And I was messaging him, and then he was like, call me, here's my number. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I called him, he didn't answer. He called me back later today. I started talking. And he seemed like a normal guy. Like, I looked up his phone number. It's, um, he's like located in Ohio, whatever. And then. Did you make a new friend? Wait. Um, and so we started like talking. Wait, my about, camera is out. Oh, no. It went back into focus. Okay, so you okay. start talking. Start talking, whatever. Like, he was like, let me call you back real quick. So I was in the car. He didn't like call me back. So I called him back. We probably talked for like 20 minutes or so. About what? While I just can talk to people. So this guy, uh, he has like a warehouse in Cleveland, Ohio. 
does what he, he know, does does he know our neighbor <laughs> maybe so what he does is um, he goes to auctions for pallets that are on train cars and wait so what is the crux of this story so, so I like learned about his business what he's doing He's a warehouse. He goes to these offices. Does he need an industrial developer? I know, right? He literally like buys these pallets full of like a bunch of random electronics. Yeah. And a lot of them and are then he resells Dyson. Them. And then he re re resells them at like a fraction of the actual retail cost. So he okay. makes like a hefty pro profit on it. And it probably like, yeah, we were just talking about this. And I don't know if he's just great at bullshitting or like what but i kind of believe it like and then we were talking about like oh venmo like protection like he's like i use venmo because it protects you or you could do like paypal goods and services and he just knew all this stuff and he was like yeah like these different people well, have what tried were to his scam reviews? me what were his reviews so he on doesn't Facebook? have any reviews which is weird you were being scammed you were literally being catfished so um, like you got catfished. Well, I haven't bought anything or anything. Okay. I guarantee you, you got catfished. And either it's a huge, like, front and it's fake or whatever, or it's like a really cool idea. But okay. He was like going into detail and stuff, so we'll see. I think he got catfished. But I also listened to a podcast episode today about catfishing, so maybe that's why I'm saying that. Hi guys, I just got home from getting a little coffee and I just doctored it up and put it in the fridge because I'm actually gonna do a little bit of Pilates. Um, I did a really short one this morning, but I kind of want a little bit more. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Sometimes I'll do like, just like a 15 minute or so. Um, and then, can I get this one? Um, and then I'll do, I'll go get coffee, go for a walk, whatever, come back, do like another 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, I do have a package from Sister Katie, which I'm really excited about. Oh my God, like so excited, but I'm going to show you guys once I do, I'm done with this. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to the grocery store um both whole foods and trader joe's and i just made a list so i know what i need to get um and then come back and i want to deep clean because it's thursday just finished tasha and cleaned my yoga mat this is your sign clean your yoga mat take your branch basics cleaner and just wipe it down because especially if you work out at home like i feel like there's like it's easy to forget but I try to always do it. Um, not every time, obviously, but like once a week or so, I try to wipe it down, um, both sides. And then every time I go to yoga, I actually use the wipes that Yoga 2.0 has and wipe down my mat. Um, but yeah. Um, also, I feel like I never updated you guys on my ball of mat for Pilates. I don't take that to yoga, but I love my ball of mat. Like honestly, everything from Bala, I told you guys, it's like, I'm obsessed. I just really love their stuff. So, yeah, okay. I'm gonna put my clean sheets on and then we'll do the haul. Fresh and clean. Look at that beaut. Hi guys, currently unloading the dishwasher and yeah, I haven't cut into the bread yet, which was like kind of a bummer because I wanted to have some for lunch. Um, but it was still warm and I really don't like cutting into the bread when it's warm. So I had um, just some of my favorite crackers with avocado and a salad instead. Um, but I am going to, while I'm unloading, the dishwasher right as we speak and then I'm going to hop in the shower and literally take the shower I'm so excited about it also I don't even know if people say that anymore like the shower but anytime Kate 
or I are like talking, catching up. It, if one of us takes the shower, we'll be like, took the shower. Like we make such an emphasis on it and I just love it. It always reminds me of Kate. Um, but I just got a, a couple of phone calls. One with someone that I got connected with for the job stuff and then another one with um, a woman who actually uh, works for my dad and she is a winemaker in Paso Robles, which is really cool um, because Blake and I are going there and so she is going to connect us there with people that she knows, which is like always fun when you can get connected with people that you know, like through the grapevine and then they can connect with people. I honestly feel like that's also how job searches work, like weird parallel, but it's just like a fun thing, you know? I always love having a good network. Like, one thing I will say about my parents is I feel like they know everyone. Like, they can find a connection with pretty much anyone, and like, it's just a cool thing to see because, um, who doesn't love to build a network? Blake and I always talk about building a network. You gotta build the network. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm just unloading. And when I do my deep cleans, if you have the humidifier that I do, um, it's dishwasher safe. So I actually clean my humidifier once a week. And the reason I do that is because I just think humidifiers are really gross. And I don't want them. I just don't want my humidifier harboring a bunch of bacteria. Maybe that's just me being like a crackhead and anxious. Sorry, I keep leaving this room. I feel like you guys are actually here. We're just, we're just chatting. Um, but yeah, so I always just pop it in the dishwasher and then I just run water through my filter. And then I will just, I'm filling it up with water right now, filtered water, and I'll start it up again. But since we didn't get to try the bread today, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some croutons for dinner and just really lightly toast them since it's still like obviously fresh bread. I don't wanna like make them too croutony. Um, but I could do that or I could just have a slice of the snack right now. I'm kinda hungry anyway, so it's about five. I'm gonna take the shower and then I'll probably have a snack. But I really wanna get clean. You know when you just feel kind of gross? I put a hair mask in this morning and so I'm just like ready to get clean and like clear off the day. Maybe I'll, I'll probably play some energy cleansing music and get it nice and like good vibes in here, you know? Um, but yeah, that's kind of the vibe. I'll show you guys what we do for dinner. But I'm gonna end the vlog tonight because I wanna start a weekend in my life. Um, but this is what we've got for the setup right now. We've got my bread doing its final cooling, which like honestly, I feel like you guys, if you don't bake sourdough, would be shocked by how long it takes this loaf to cool. Like I'm feeling it right now, it's still warm. Um, and I baked it now like three hours ago, which is wild. And then I'm gonna do my yoga course. So yeah, I'm hack. If you ever want to get a can cold, cover it with a cold or a wet paper towel and put it in the freezer just for like five to 10 minutes and it'll get cold. We just had dinner. I forgot to vlog, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I was making everything, AKA Blake wasn't on meat duty. I was making a steak um, because he got home a little bit later. So I was just doing my kitchen thing. So I didn't vlog. But I'm gonna end the vlog. I love you guys and thank you for your support. I'll see you in my next vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao.